Welcome back to the 242nd season. This is uh, game number 14 of the 82 game regular season of the Indiana Pacers playing one minute quarters the entire way through. Uh, my name is Sean and currently one game over 500 team chem chemistry at 57%. The problem is we do have a very unhappy player. Um... I don't know exactly where you would find that, but uh, we do have an unhappy player. TJ Warren is uh, not thrilled. I think you just look at my... TJ Warren's unsatisfied. His overall rating is taking a shot. He did not play in the last game. Um, Oladipo's perky. That's good news. The last game being a... Tough to swallow overtime loss to the Houston Rockets. Uh, really solid end to that game. I'm able to get us tied at 16 and then just a completely flat-footed uh, mess of an overtime period. So, we will move on to the Milwaukee Bucks. We will be back in Indiana. Um, prospect scouting? Sure, that sounds great. I just want to play the game. That's all I would like to do. Holiday is in the starting lineup yet again tonight, uh, which is a little surprising. He was in the starting lineup yesterday. I don't know how frequently he's been in the starting lineup. It seems like it's new, but I'm, I'm not always 100% sure. We'll rock the uh, white. I guess we could go. We'll go green and yellow. Green versus yellow. The Greek Freak is coming to town. And it could be a rough game here, where this is the middle of a three-game stretch of tough tough teams, title contenders, or, or at least conference contenders, between Houston, Milwaukee, and supposedly the Brooklyn Nets, but they might take a little bit of time to gel. Uh, we could see them in the postseason later on. They should be a lock to make the postseason. However, for us, it could be a little bit more of a crapshoot. The game is loaded. The matchups and things are set. We'll see you at the tip. Enjoy the pregame. The Bucks coming into the arena confident they'll be walking out of here with a precious win on the road. The buildings of Indianapolis are location tonight framed against the beautiful nighttime sky. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And as we're reaching the end of the calendar year, here's a great chance to delve into the updated power rankings. You take a look at the 76ers. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And check it out, Indiana. They have to like the progression that we've seen. Bit by bit, everything coming together. Consistency going forward will be key. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin. Jeru Holiday is in his eighth season with the Pelicans. He said, I've been here the longest with the possible exception of the security guard. There was a ball boy who was here before me, but now he's one of our coaches. Kevin, he's still all in and trying to help the Big Easy get back to the playoffs. Terrific. David, thanks. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Indiana, Ogden and Oladipo, the backcourt duo. Sabonis and Turner up front. And it's Holiday in at the three. All right, here we go. I think that was an old line of dialogue for Drew Holiday. Considering that that it's gonna be the, the big easy the is New Orleans, Old not Milwaukee. Back to oh, the, the Greek freak! I got go. freaked. All right, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Holiday's getting fouled. The credit Holiday for getting to the line on that one with his quickness and length. I'd like to see him do that more often. 
This is his first trip to the line tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of so his Not a great start here as I have already turned the ball Very over, but that's okay. Milwaukee will go to the line to shoot two. Free throw good from Drew Holiday. First one good. It definitely has the respect of the locker so room. So a weird, uh, someone that weird score of one to zero. Playing with. All three throws good from right. Drew Holiday. Two free throws good. Let's uh, maybe not turn the ball over immediately. I thought for the that I thought that All right, I'll take that. I'll take the glass. But I'm trying to say is I thought Sabonis had positioning on um, on the Kumbo. Oh, instead, that's all right. All right, sir. Oh, okay. he sure can get off the floor. He one of the best in the business, absolutely. The kick out to Oladipo. Give it to me. Give it to Turner. Get the rebound. Come on, man. What are you doing? Into this one following a loss to the oh, good lord. And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley oop blocks. Oh, this is a bad shot. That's a very bad shot. Actually, no, that wasn't a hard bad shot at all. And there's the pass to DiVincenzo. Okay. All right. Not a good, not a good quarter. Six to two. Some bad shots in there. I thought it was a different player in the corner, and I just like, just was like, yeah, I'd like to shoot a three with whoever this is. And the second yeah, this team definitely has started. updated. We'll be back in just a moment. This is uh, this is new. Hmm. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Well, look out! And look what we've seen from Hat. Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Well, they have Taj Gibson on their team. And here's Augustine. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups on the court for Indiana. Sabonis and Turner up front. And it's T.J. McConnell on, and it's Sumner in at the two-guard we spot. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. That, that did not work. Kicks it to Turner over Gibson. No, give me something. Come on, man. Uh. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Four. Pass to Craig. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll take that. Shot from 12, and it's good off the back rim Man. and in. Craig's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Bucks. Right side. Now he has position. Miles Turner, please. Softly Thank you. In the floater. Okay, I'll, the I'll take a four-point deficit. That's fine. So Just hold him here. Turner. He's got the size and strength. To God damn it! Forward. And we always talk about making your teammate better. So the pr the problem that I'm having right is it's not changing me to the and defender so I want to be. So I kept bouncing between those two guys, and that quarter. kept freezing them. And then the, the uh, Milwaukee player the was able to just and run the free. Also, we jumped into like a pretty good position on the uh, power ratings, and now we're now we're falling all apart. Try and regroup and have a better second half. Why has that happened? Well, you know, I think our guys are committed on that end. Uh, everybody's active. Everybody's covering for each other. And we know how important it is. Mike, we'll see if it continues in the next quarter. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. 
This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Well, guys, a ton of attention on the Bucks and the future of one Giannis Antetokounmpo after he declined to sign an extension this summer. Jack. I think the decision to trade away Malcolm Brogdon still haunts the fans. They don't want to pay him. Star with the Pacers. And he could have helped his team over the top in the playoffs, for sure. You think so? Uh, so? Yeah, but I, I believe that. Yeah, but in hindsight, it's all one. Right? I think he could. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Oh, here we go. Whoops. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Now here is Holiday. And on the floor oh. for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. God. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. They're just Dante so Di easily. Vincenzo. He's out there with like. Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. Here's Brogdon. After Drew Holiday's score, Brogdon finds a bonus. Some nice passing here by Indiana. The shot by Holiday, no good. I thought he was a three-point specialist, but maybe I'm thinking about another. The wide open look here for Holiday, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. This one's uh, this one's ugly. It's not getting a roll, not getting a bounce. Defense is bad. One step, and they're just around us. So he can mix it up a little more inside. And GA Chris Middleton over his career much improved on the defensive end. A true two-way player. I tell you, that 6'11 wingspan helps. Able to oh, use that length to bother shots and disrupt shot. passes. First one falls for him. And really, from second-round pick to all-star, Middleton's story, inspirational. Yet even now, it feels like some people continue to sleep on him. The Pacers making a switch so here. McDermott's, McDermott's in. Checked in. Oops. And was trying to change player because I thought that was the camera. My bad. And he makes both free throws. Okay. 14 to 4. Now Oladipo. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Off target from three-point range. Milwaukee. Yeah, live by the three, die by the three. To the inside. And, the and there's just the no ball. one there. And guys, that's There's a no one there. Far too accustomed to see Antetokounmpo throwing it there down like it was just another day at the office. There's something. And he takes it right at the man who just scored on him. That's the way to answer back with an in-your-face stuff. No. Here's DiVincenzo. Can't there you go. 12. Gets it off. Give it to me. Oh. oh. It doesn't go in for him. That's all right. So at least I got a shot up. Bucks. Okay. Going into the break, uh, we're going to need a lot of help. Lead. We're down 10. Tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has just stifling. Oh. We've got more in store for you right after this. Hopefully this like interstitial music doesn't give me copyright problems. And now all of them have, have been cleaned to, up to uh, this point. Our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect God. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. We need a turnover. Uh, something. Three we need three immediately. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Sabonis is out there with Doug McDermott. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Holiday in at the point. That's the Pacers' five. Let's it go from deep. The shot that time, not on target. Yeah, now the Bucks take it the other way. It's not going to go for him. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Brogdon finds a bonus. Down the lane. Okay. Very late. I thought that was going to be a it feels like more of a dunk Brogdon animation. But every repetition turns that passing from excellent to elite. 
Now, here is Holiday. Count God that dang, one. they are Spirited just. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions and enemy man. territory. This team man. did a tremendous job staying man. focused on the task Oh, man. I'll just dribble this out. DiVincenzo against Holiday. On the wing, DiVincenzo. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Well, at least they it was short. It was merciful, like mercifully short. Well, that's a two-game skid. That this group they, they were never yes. Just awful. Just an awful, fans. awful and game. Do it, folks. Obviously, you're not going to win them all, but I feel like I'm kind of sliding back into the early season this problems where the, 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 we'll the wins were way too close and the losses were... Not, not really much of a game for most of it. That's okay. I thought this would be the, the tough three-game stretch, and it looks like it's uh, living up to its name. So following an overtime beatdown, um, a game that we... Uh, maybe lucky is not the right word, but a game that definitely took a little help, a little luck, getting going, uh, even pushing into overtime, even before that. It was uh, not really our day. Got some good rolls um, on the basket. But to come back and lay an egg like that, not great. So we'll uh, go ahead and simulate through that date. And we will head to Brooklyn looking to uh, looking to right the ship next time on the 242nd season.